Dungey into the game for the first time tonight for Dallas, wearing uniform number 33. What's up, everybody? It's Coach JB. Today, we're talking about Tyasia Ty Harris from the Dallas Wings. When she graduated from the University of South Carolina to enter into the WNBA draft, she was the first person to ever finish with 700 or more assists in her career. But before we get into it, don't forget to save this video and share it with a friend so they're learning as well. So when we broke down her numbers this week, we found that 40.5% of the time when she's scoring, it's out of a pick and roll scenario. And then we broke down the pick and rolls, and we saw that when the screen makes contact with the defender, 80% of the time, that's how she's scoring. And then when we go into her assist, same thing. When the screener actually makes contact with the defender, 60% of those are going to a kickback. Now, when misses come into play, we're looking at the switch 70% of the time, that's when she's missing her shot. And as far as turnovers go, when they fight over, like really press up on her, or if they switch, she's turning the ball over. So let's take a look at the misses and turnovers first. Let's get the ugly stuff out of the way. So if we look at switches first, you're gonna see here, the defender is actually gonna be going backwards and she just rushes up a three. In the second clip, same thing, switch, and it's a rush mid-range, all right? And now here she gets a good switch. She's got her isolated and she just puts up a step back three, not what we want on an isolation. Now, when she has the defenders fight over, she really starts to speed up and rush things and bad things happen. But if you notice when this happens, she's never setting her defender up. She's just kind of running right to the screen. And you'll see it again here, just ran right past the screen, never tried to set them up. Look at it one more time. No setup, just run by and turn the ball over. So let's look at a way that we can fix this. We're gonna look inside of our Player Transformation Academy at a drill that will really help correct this issue. Hey, get in there. All right, now with this segment, we're gonna show refusal. So I still have my ball screen action here and I just want you all to start here playing off the screen and you're gonna fake as if you're gonna refuse the screen and quickly change direction and then come back off the screen. So the first few reps, we're gonna show refusal come back off and we're going to split the action here when you split the screen keep the ball in the inside hand and i want two dribbles so as soon as i come off i want two one two tap dribbles and as that ball comes up you're going to get into floaters with this so again start in the wing area show refusal and then quickly come right back off you have your split and then you can shoot a floater off one you can hop land on two and shoot it let's get it Hey, get in there. So that's just one drill that she could use or you could use to fix that issue. And we're actually gonna see her use it later on in a couple of clips as well. But looking at her scoring, when she does create contact with that screen, she's getting buckets. I mean, you look at it here, there's contact on two screens, drags that big out, knocks down the jumper. And again here, creates contact with the screen, knock down jumper. And one last time, contact, knockdown jumper. Now her assists show the same exact thing. When she creates contact with the screen, she's patient, and then she's able to find her teammates so their teammate can get a bucket. Same exact thing here. Again, patience makes that contact, and then she's able to find her teammate, easy basket at the rim. Again, in this clip, she's patient, an extra patient waiting for the roll, finds the roll person, and now the roll person's able to be isolated and get a basket. And then one last time, again, we see when she comes off of this, patient finds that roll person for a basket. Let's review. When Ty gets into a pick and roll scenario, she needs to be patient. When she's patient, great things happen. And she needs to set her defender up and make sure that the defender actually makes contact with that screen because when she does, great things happen. Now you may be wondering why I was going over her misses and turnovers, and that's just because I wanted to show you that professionals struggle as well. And as a professional, she'll take this in and get better. But if we look at her turnover percentage compared to the rest of the league, we have five other players up here. She's sitting in third out of six people at a three and a half percent turnover rate. That is ridiculously low. Only Diana Taurasi and Courtney Vandersloot are above her. So again, be patient, set your defender up, and make sure the defender makes contact with that screen. Use that drill that Coach DJ Sackman had on this video, and make sure you get into one of our academies so this way you can transform your game.